project I've been working on right now is a finial, quite a tall one. I've been using my steady rest up till now. Now I've got to the point where I need to move it out of the way and use a different kind of rest here. I call a string rest and I'll show you how I made that. I have an open cylinder here I made with stave construction. Now what I want to do is true up the ends. I've got pencil marks so that I can tell when they disappear, it's trued up. I have the cylinder mounted on my chuck in expansion mode and my live center brought up with the cone to support the end. I'm going to use my roughing gouge to true it up, to round it over, and then I'm going to use a parting tool to put a tenon on the end that I can fit inside my chuck. I will use calipers to tell me when the tenon is the right size for the chuck. I have it mounted in my chuck now. and There's a couple of things I want to point out. First of all, I know a lot of fellas will make jakes and they could be shown in fine woodworking magazine. That's not my intention. My intention is to make a jake functional. This is made of plywood. It's not pretty, but it'll do the job. I've put four screws in here at 90 degrees. I've measured very carefully, put them in every third segments since this is made with 12 segments and they're ready to go. In the chuck I put an adapter that's going to allow me to set this into the tail stock. Alright, just a little demonstration on how this works. The inside here is large enough that this will fit inside. So I just pull the tail stock forward until the face is flush with the groove. Lock that in place, and I'm going to take some string, and this is 100% cotton string. If you use nylon string, it'll melt, it'll burn the wood, and make quite a mess. All I do is take, make a clove hitch to hold it on here. And I'm going to wrap it around and bring it over to the screw on this side, make a loop, hold it there, go around again to the next screw, again I'll make a loop, my fingers will work together, hold that. Go around in the groove again to the next screw. Just doing the same thing. Now when it turns, that string will ride in there and keep it steady. That's all there is to it. I just make a couple of loops and tie it off on the next screw and it's ready to go. Cut off the excess and it should hold it when it's turning. The 
the cotton string won't burn it like the uh, nylon will. It's much easier on the wood. There you have it. Now I should be able to turn this and it's being held there in position. Thanks for watching. Hope you get some use out of this yourself. Click the like button if you enjoyed this. Feel free to subscribe. Have yourself a great day and do some woodworking. Thanks for watching.